All right, man, peace. So, brothers, this is going to be another entry into the Simp Chronicles series that I've started. And this is going to be a very important entry. Why is that? Because in this video, I'm going to be addressing one of the main stratagems that are used against the so-called black man, especially many of the younger so-called black men, to get them to conform to the notion, the false belief, that the quote-unquote black woman is God. That's just a branch on the mother goddess tree. Brothers have to understand that all across the planet Earth, they've been incrementally trying to implement the understanding that, quote unquote, God is a woman. That's why you have the video from Ariana Grande. As a matter of fact, most of the female celebrities in the entertainment industry act as microcosms of the mother goddess, and they play it out either on their albums or in their movies. But that's a whole other video for another day. The point being is this. They've systematically tried to introduce that into the quote-unquote black community via the black consciousness movements that were started in the 1960s. And let me say this, the so-called black woman is beautiful, she's wonderful when she's in her right mind. Most of them are not in their right mind. And in order for us to improve the conditions that we're enduring in many of these quote-unquote black communities all across America, or the Americas per se, and all across the world for that matter, we have to address the energies that are being sent towards the woman via the television, via the radio, through music, in the workplace, etc. Because there's a trickle-down effect that is permeating into the household. That is why there is no more man as the head of the household. Because now the woman is acting as the head of the household. She's acting as proverbial Hestia, the goddess of the home. Or she's Juno, the dove goddess. Or she's Aphrodite, the goddess of lust or of love. Or Sekhmet, the goddess of war. Either way, the woman is constantly being inundated with this notion that she's a goddess. And of course, in the so-called black community, as already mentioned, we've seen for many years this notion that quote-unquote God is a woman or the black woman is God. And one of the main ways that they very slyly and slickly try to get the so-called black man to conform to this paradigm is by trying to align all women to his mother. Why is that? Because even from the ancient time, the vocation of the mother has always been solemn, meaning serious, of the father as well, of course. But always understand that due to the natural connection that a child has to his mother, first through the umbilical cord, and then through the suckling of the breast milk, the woman acts as the original and the initial teacher of the child, not even through cognitive lessons or or you know instruction per se but just through nourishment through the umbilical cord first and then through the breast that is how the child starts to grow so of course there's always going to be a veneration of the mother figure but that does not mean that she is to be worshipped per se why is that because your mother can be wrong too she can be wrong too and she should be corrected when she's incorrect when she's wrong of course, in a way that is befitting of how you would address your mother, still with the honor and the love and the respect that she's earned through that vocation. And that's why the scriptures tell us what? Honor thy father and mother. Now, when it comes to our wives or to our consorts, our quote unquote girlfriends per se, or whatever you want to call them, or to the average female out in the street, they deserve to be treated with different levels of respect, regard, or love, depending on what the dynamic is between you and them. With your wife, you love your wife and you'd be willing to give your life for her, pursuant to scripture. And you also honor her, as Peter said, as she is the weaker vessel. Meaning what? You have mercy on her. You have patience with her. But the dynamic between you and your wife, or you and an average woman, is going to be different from you and your mother. It's just going to be different. Now what a real man does is, he understands how to mediate and how to moderate between the mother and the wife because many times they will be at odds. But their roles are not the same. They're not synchronous. And they're not going to be treated the same or synchronous. Now, why am I saying all this? Because oftentimes, when modern day men who are starting to wake up will address the woman and her nature, the first thing that a simp or a super liberal female will do is they'll say, what about your mother? Why are they doing that? They're doing that because that's an attempt at control. Your mother, for all intents and purposes, is one of your first handlers. That's why when you see your father or your mother 
<laughs> there's a little trepidation in responding to something that they say, even when you know that it's wrong. It's a very similar dynamic to how someone who is um, who has a psychological hold over someone would have. Your father, your mother, they have a psychological hold over you. It's just natural. Your wife is not supposed to have the same psychological hold over you, or the average woman is not supposed to have the same psychological hold over you as your mother does. Because you understand that your mother's put in the work through years of sacrifice to raise you. That still does not mean that everything that she says is correct or that you worship her as a god. In the same way with your wife. There are things that your wife is going to tell you that you hearken to when you have the wisdom to know that what she's saying is for your benefit. But once again, the mother and the wife, those are not equivalent vocations. You don't treat them the same. You don't respond to what they say the same. And the reason why people always try to utilize the mother approach, what about your mother, is because they want you to look at every woman how you would your mother. That being as an authoritative figure. And you're never supposed to do that. The average female out here is bugged out of her mind. Okay? Some of you brothers out there might say even your own mother was bugged out of her mind. Who knows? But now let's listen to what this dude here has to say. He's a simp. And his real goal is to make sure that he ingratiates himself with the black matriarchy. So now let's listen to what this dude here has to say because he is a simp. And his overall crux and real goal is to make sure that he properly ingratiates himself with the black matriarchy, which I'm sure has dominated his life for the majority of his life. So he's going to talk about it. I'm going to chime in. I don't know who raised y'all niggas. Because uh, y'all are definitely some weirdos. Listen. As a black man, it's your responsibility to glorify and uplift black women. Why? Brothers, did you hear that? I'm going to let him continue. But, but he stated that it's your responsibility to uplift and glorify black women. Brothers, it's not your responsibility to uplift and glorify anyone. As a man, it's your responsibility to tell the truth. Number one, to yourself. If you look in the mirror and you're a fat bastard, you can't look in the mirror and say, well, I'm in great shape. You have to address the truth so that you can improve. You understand? When somebody lies to you, it's not for your benefit. It's to your detriment. So this person here is a simp. He does not have the cognitive function or the three-dimensional thought process to be a part of the solution. He wants to make sure that you know that he is a very loyal drone to the black matriarchy. Because your mother's black. It's that fucking simple. It's no, brother, you're that fucking simple. You're that fucking simple. It's not that simple. You're that simple. Let me rewind this back just a little bit. It's, it's not rocket science. That's true, it's not rocket science, because if it was rocket science, you certainly would not be qualified to speak on that topic, just like you're not qualified to speak on this one. And there are going to be many simple-minded liberal black females who will see a video like this. And when I say a video like this, I'm talking about this brother here speaking on a topic that is clearly above his level of comprehension. And they'll say, yes, brother, yes, thank you for standing up for us, because nobody stands up for us. That's part of the victimization agenda and programming that has been imbued upon the woman, not just the black woman, but women of all races over the last 35 years. That nobody has stood up for them. All the television, the radio, and the government have done over the last 35 years is stand up for women, especially so-called black women. If you watch the CBS Morning News every morning at 7 a.m. with Gail King and Nora O'Donnell, it's basically become the woman's news network. That's all it's become. Every segment is about women now and what women are doing great and how to glorify them. But just to get back to the point, no, brothers, you're not supposed to glorify the woman. You're supposed to tell her the truth. And first we tell ourselves the truth and then we tell them the truth and either they can deal with it or they can't. But if the woman is suffering from self-esteem issues, it's because she does not know anything. If she does not know anything, it's because she's not being taught. And if she's not being taught, is because the men who know things either are not teaching them or are not allowed to teach them. And the problem is that the woman wants to talk out of both sides of her mouth. She wants to be an authority, but she also claims to want, quote unquote, real men to teach her things. Well, you know, when you're in a classroom, you have to be quiet in order to be taught. 
You can't speak when you're getting taught because that tells me that you don't really want to learn. Like, it's, it's not, we're not talking geometry. It's real simple. My mother's black, so even if I have a preference and I'm attracted to other women, I will always glorify and uplift my women, black women. In other words, what he's promoting is lying. He believes that lying is the way to assuage a lot of the issues that so-called black women have. He says, if you have a preference for other women, you still have to glorify and uplift the black woman. No. As a matter of fact, the so-called black man should not be uplifted or glorified either. The so-called black man has to be told the truth about himself. That's why I stayed on my channel. The so-called black man has become the biggest simp on the planet Earth. The biggest. And from number one to number two is a pretty great disparity. Okay? Brothers, we can't improve if we're not going to tell the truth. So this person here, whoever this brother is, he's not going to be part of the solution. But I already know why he's doing this video. He's doing this video so that he can get hit up in his DMs by some lonely black women. So that's not going to be anything that we can take seriously. When I say that, I'm talking about a person like this making a video like this. But always understand, when you, when you see these females trying to argue with you over the internet, talking about what about your mother, the reason why they're saying that is because they want you subconsciously to synchronize the average female with your mother. The same person who hopefully, if she was a good mother, who birthed you, who nursed you, who watched over you, made sure that she raised you properly and tried to extol the benefits of positivity in your life. What the modern day demented female wants to do is for you to walk down the street and see a random woman and equate her to your mother. Now, of course, when you walk down the street and you see a random woman, you give her the respect that a human being deserves. But not because that's a reflection of your mother, but because she deserves respect as a human being as you're walking past her. That's how that works. But when we're talking about upliftment, upliftment is about telling our people the truth and where we can go once we accept the truth. Upliftment is, is not about trying to maintain delusion. Our people like delusion. That's part of the pro blackity black mantra. Everything is black and nothing is our fault and we're going to get this and we deserve that and we deserve to get paid back for this. Brothers, this is captivity. Okay? Once we accept that this is captivity, then we can start to replenish and reinvigorate ourselves and head towards what the real goal is supposed to be, which is our own kingdom, our own land, and so on and so forth. But in the process of that, a lot of these dudes have to go. A lot of these people have to go. Okay? And that's according to scripture. They're going to eliminate themselves because they're going to, they're going to cast themselves in the role of extras as opposed to the main characters. Because of their lack of ability to understand what's going on around them, their poor comprehension, they're going to make themselves expendable. And they're going to be removed of their own accord. Okay? First. First. Mandatory. I don't know who raising y'all, but, you know, y'all turning out weird. Well, it's very clear that there's some confusion on your part in who's raising certain type of people. I'm not that confused about who raised you, that being the black matriarchy. Okay, I say this all the time, brothers. There are generations upon generations of sims that are being raised in these single mother households. And so many brothers don't understand what they will misprogram with until they're in their mid to late 30s. Then they say, wow, my mother and grandmother taught me the Bible. My mother and grandmother taught me about relationships. My mother and grandmother taught me about life. They told me that I should be focused on getting a job and working for somebody else. They told me that life is about falling in love with a woman. They told me that God loves everybody and that color doesn't matter. These are all things that the so-called black man is learning under the black matriarchy. So this is why they have to be addressed and not uplifted, but told the truth. Your upliftment comes through you being told the truth. And that's just how that's going to go. But once again, brothers, always be vigilant about certain tactics that are used to try to get you to, to conform or be confined in a proverbial space where you just have to get on one knee to the image of the mother goddess. It's very insidious and it's very dangerous. So peace.